A couple of days ago, I received a comment asking me to make an instrumental in the style of Playboy Carti. I'll see if I remember to put it on the screen here. I'm just going to assume that he's referring to rage beats or trippy red type beat or a whole lot of red type beats. I don't know. Right now, it's all the same to me because I don't know anything about the genre. I know almost nothing about this subgenre and I've never tried to make it. So this is going to be interesting. From my understanding, Rage Beats just seems to be like a wall of synths paired with really heavy trap uh, inspired drums. And this will be my first time trying to produce a Clayboy Carti type beat from scratch. So let's just see how it goes. If I had to guess, I'm probably going to use a serum for the melody and bass line. Uh, I'll probably add a top line melody and then lay down some really hard hitting trap drums beneath them and see how it goes. So let's just make a start. In preparation for this video, I've listened to a couple of notable albums that I'll put on the screen, downloaded some drum kits that I thought might be useful as you can see an entire new sub genre folder right here and ready to go let's just get started from what I understand uh, rage beats pretty popular at 150 to 160 bpm so I'm just going to go with a quick 150 bpm and I'm also going to go with a synth plugin called serum serum is pretty popular with rage beat producers I think we're going to need a preset first of all we're just going to flick through and then see which preset would be the best for this one let's try this one one sounds pretty cool, but let's just try another one just to make sure. <laughs> Bro, who named this preset? It's just called cringe. Once again, it's just a bit too square for me. Yeah, I like the, the clean triangle sound, so I'm going to go with that. And now we're going to want to make a chord progression. Not a bad start, I just want to make sure I get the root notes down first. Sounds pretty good so far. I like that. I don't know what I'm doing too much, but I know enough to know that that's a pretty good starting point, I think. I'm just going to clone Serum again, and we're going to look for a bass preset to throw over the top. Um... I like that one. What I'll probably do is just copy the root notes of this melody and then paste them here. Okay. So now we're looking for a lead. Once again, we're going to go into the preset bank and just flick through the leads. Okay, I don't really like any of the leads in that one, so we'll keep searching. I'm going to look for a one-shot lead, maybe. I might have more luck with that. The problem that I have with this lead so far is that some of the notes cut off before I want them to. They don't have the sustain that I'm looking for. And that's because I'm using one shot samples. So there's a couple ways we can solve that. I can either use loop points or we can use a VST lead instead. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste the lead melody into Serum and then look again if I can find another one. All right, I think I found a lead finally. It sounds like this. And let's listen to everything together. All right, now what we're going to do is record this melody and bounce it out and then reverse it and see what it gives.
All right, let's add a clap. To be honest, for a first attempt, I feel like this is not that bad for a Rage beat. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I've heard worse. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Alright, now for the 808. Add a kick as well. I don't want too much to be going on in the drums, but I want to make it interesting because the melody is pretty basic, you know? All right, I think the drums are basically done because I don't want to overcomplicate the beat. All right, let's mix the beat, let's mix the beat. There might have to be some EQ automation to make this work because the sample already has a bass line and we want the 808 to hit through the bass line. So I might have to EQ out some of the bass frequencies to make this function. Huh? All right, I guess we're not using thermal. I thought I lost like a, I thought I lost like 30 minutes worth of work. That was not fun. Let's mix the drums now. to arrange the beat now we don't need this let's delete it all right now as i said we're going to need an automation clip for this and we're going to paste the value here as in the intro part of the beat the bass line will be here since i haven't cut any of the frequencies out but then when the 808 hits here if we look at the eq now there'll be a massive gap for the uh for the bass so the 808 can sit right here <laughs> That's 
that's it. The beat's done, I think. I really enjoyed making this beat because it's generally speaking not something I would make normally. I would say it's satisfying every once in a while to try out a genre that you haven't made before. I think it's really important to uh, add variety to your production, not just because you'll get bored, but because that way when you learn to make a bunch of genres, you can mix them together and make com something completely different. But yeah, the sound of this production kind of reminds me a bit of like hyper pop, which I've heard of as well, which is a completely different genre, but maybe I'll learn how to make that at some point. I don't know. As I said at the start of the video, if there's any other styles of beat you want me to make or break down put a comment down below and i'll see what i can do thank you to i'll put it up on the screen thank you to this person whoever left the comment i appreciate it very much and yeah let's just listen to the beat and see what i could do better for next time